Hello everyone, this is Bhuvaneshwari Kashi from Sivya College of Engineering, India. Thank you Avara for providing this great platform. I am going to give a brief presentation on revisiting black holes to white holes. Moving to the next slide, introduction. Black holes are incomplete. The evolution of white holes from black holes provide a complete wheel to black holes. But what are white holes? White holes are hypothetical astrophysical objects predicted as a part of our solution to Einstein's field equations. White hole's existence is still not confirmed and currently we have many theories explaining the existence and the geometry of these mysterious objects. They are thought to be the reverse of black holes in almost all the aspects. Matter can only move outwards in, white, in a white hole. It can be thought as a time reverse picture of the black hole. Stephen Hawking and many other scientists proposed that supermassive black holes give birth to white holes. The most acceptable theory we have today is that at the center of the black hole there is quantum tangling taking place where classical physics are violated. And this turns into a white hole. Black hole evaporation and white holes. Black hole evaporation reduces the mass and total speed of total rotational speed of a black hole thus shrinks and eventually disappears. Towards the end of this process, there is an elevated probability of tunneling into a white hole. The transition here takes place based on the quantum gravity forming cornucopian like tremens, as suggested by many models from Hawking to recent Ashran Olman Singh's model using the loop gravity. This is a simple model illustrating the scenario Space above the center of singularity A is a trapping region that is the black hole interior and B is the anti-trapping region and it's the white hole interior. Matter gets collapsed into the black hole and matter expands out from the white hole. According to the Hawking radiation, the black hole size should shrink to Planckian size in the period of M0 cube by H bar. The probability density becomes unitary thus the b region is expected to be the region of white hole the total entropy should be released thus the white hole remnant should be longer this helps the information to escape the low frequency obeying the bounds on maximum entropy of the volume stabilities and black hole information pattern the modes of the short wavelengths are exponentially blue shifted along the horizons of the white hole. This indicates the instabilities of the white hole. Eugenio Bianchi and his colleagues in their papers suggest an approach using non perturbation quantum gravity without violating the known physics. Considering the no transplantian perturbation, all the instabilities lose their existence. The figure displays the number of discrete instabilities in the black hole white hole configuration increases with the size L of the intermediate supersonic region. This is the graph. These white holes can provide an acceptable solution to the information paradox which is countering since Hawking proposed the black hole evaporation. Information cannot be created nor destroyed in our universe. The calculations done using the general theory of relativity suggest that the information is permanently lost inside the black hole which raises the controversy with modern physics. The quantum theory firmly states that information can be scrambled hard but cannot be lost in any way. Many other theories like disappearance theory, the firewall theory, try to explain a solution to the paradox. But these statements contain a lot of complexity and ambiguity, unlike the white hole. In conclusion, understanding the evolution of white holes from black holes is important to resolve many intriguing problems and paradoxes associated with the exotic remnants, more significantly the black hole remnants in our universe. Black hole radiation or black hole evaporation leads us to quantum tunneling of the black holes to white holes. The entropy of the black holes can be released through the white hole discoil. A Planckian sized long lived black hole can provide a proper solution to the black hole information paradox with comparison to the other approaches till today. Further development in theories regarding the understanding of the black hole white hole physics can provide our vision regarding the 
the quantum gravity and the quantum space and time. This research was supported by Dr. M. Chandrasekhar, Assistant Professor of Physics, Sivya College of Engineering, Ms. Anjali Shivani Reddy. Special thanks to Mr. Venkata Kaushikrachakanda. Further questions about the presentation are entertained through the mail. That's the end of the presentation on revisiting black holes to white holes. Thank you.